Welcome back. We're going to try to figure out how to use this website and see if I can play some games on it. So I see other people forming challenges. I should probably get the general idea of like how to make a challenge. I see there are buttons for challenge and watch. Um, so here the only other button that appears is room. So I'm like in a room here, but there's other rooms in the room. But I think, yeah. Let's select a free game, I guess, just to warm up. Wait condition. Um, hmm. Interesting. So, resume, no. Reserve, I don't know. 30 second? We could try that. I don't know what most of these things are. Wait, why does this make everything pink? Why does this change color every time I select something? I don't understand. But let's hope short. Sure. That sounds legit, maybe. I don't know. Free game, wait short, time limited. Okay. Sure. Uh yeah, let's let's try it. Yes. Good luck. I agree to you. Alright. It's like we're playing Shogi. So uh oh, they're rated fifty, because they've entered Presumably this opponent does not have any rated games on file. And is just electing to enter at the lowest possible rating. Whether or not that's their true rating and... Okay. I'm hoping that there's a Bioyomi on this game, because if not, I am going to lose. Actually, I'm moving faster than they are, so I'm fine from that front. But we're going to find out. Um, okay. Still leaving open the possibility of a bishop exchange. Okay, bishops do get exchanged, and my silver gains a tempo. And we're just going to build some castle. If they build... yeah, okay. Let's try to get them to say, yeah, they're not going to try to build Anaguma Castle, so we aren't either. I'll just build half Mino and then maybe expand that to Mino in a bit. Um, and I guess bring this silver toward the center. All right, my overlay probably looks okay. Yeah. It would look better if I didn't have these scroll bars visible, so maybe in the future I'll have some sort of uh, user style to disable this scroll. Uh, also, sorry about the background 81 dojo noises. I forgot to uh, mute them prior to starting this game. Alright, let's put some pressure on this edge, because I don't know where to attack. Um... I really don't know where to attack. I'll bring silver out a little bit more. But yeah, my rook... Oh, I'm sorry, my silver and pawn cover 5-5. Five five. So we do enter Bioyomi. So each move we have 30 seconds to think about our next move. Um... I guess it makes sense to use my knight. Although, it's risky. They advance their gold general. Um, okay, I play a risky move. Perhaps an unwisely risky move. 
because I'm not sure what I gain from this. I have some ideas, like bring the rook over to the second file, then if they bring up the silver, drop a bishop here. They can bring up the silver over here instead. Okay, so I've got him thinking. Um, interesting. Let's gain another tempo. So I can exchange pawns with gain of tempo here. So that's what we're going to do. I forgot, though, this allows them to exchange rooks, which might be to my detriment as I think about this. Well, let's not stress too much about it. Let's just play some moves and see how it ends up. Um, but yeah, my original plan was if gold takes, I could drop a pawn that splits the rook from the gold. That was my original plan. Um, my second plan was somehow that if plan A fell through, I could still make use of my aggressively posted pieces somehow. Um, I'm just a bit fuzzy on how to do that. Alright, this looks fun. If the rook defends the pawn, the knight scares the rook. Otherwise, we promote here. So now this promoted bishop and pawn and knight can go forward and attack the castle. Um, so let's go, go, go. Okay, makes sense they want to stop my attack. This only delays my attack, however. It does not actually stop it. Another pawn for the larder. I guess I should take this. It is a free pawn. They say in the real world there's no such thing as a free lunch. But can there be such a thing as a free pawn? Maybe. Um... Okay, let's try to get a free rook. I don't think there's such a thing as a free rook. Most of the time. Alright. Um, so, yeah, they take my knight. Um, guess let's take the rook. Okay, so my rook is under attack. That's actually supremely annoying, but um, I don't have a checkmate. So I'm just going to run away like a little coward. Um, and we'll take ourselves a gold general. And try to find a way forward to break this. There was probably a much better way to handle that than what I did. Okay. Um, that is a fork. There's a proverb, do not run from a fork. Proverbs be damned, let's get out of here. Oh, there's another attack. Um, OK, 
Okay, let's promote up here. And if they take my pawn, my horse takes the knight. So, yeah, we're building an attack against this castle here. Um... Let's go. And then we drop a gold right next to this gold and hopefully break in. Um, let's just go. Why not? Who's afraid of a big bad pawn? Or even a horse? Yeah, so I'm being generous today. Um, okay, we'll take this and surround the king. Um, use this to attack and to defend. I guess that's that's a powerful reply. Um, I think I'm not getting checkmated anymore. So I will boldly endeavor to take your piece. And ditto for taking all of your pieces. I guess I could have just run into the corner. Running into the corner would have been smarter or whatever. Um, hmm. That's clever. Ah, I'm sucking. That was not smart. But I just cannot find a move in time pressure. That was really an unwise move on my part. So we are going to see an amazing turnabout here. Um, I'm going to get my ass handed to me so severely. Okay, our king runs. The only piece they can threaten me with now is their pawn. Oh, I thought I saw that it was safe here. This might not be as safe as I expected. Because I wanted to bring my king upward, but then I get mated in one. So let's not get mated in one. Um... Uh, this is disgusting. Oh, they have a pawn drop, which could be challenging. So, I don't want um, to be checked by their horse. So I'm going to take time out to defend against this damn horse. 
Um, Okay, that's not check. Interesting. I guess I'll take it. And the idea would be that I have enough pieces to checkmate them now. Um, so the rook can check me, and I can block this checking rook. And I've surrounded their king. Hey, welcome. Okay. I promise I'm not being obtuse on purpose. So we have a knight. I'm going to use this knight to finish the surround. Let's see. This damn horse controls way too many squares. So we're going to approach this way. Um, not put the king up the board. Promote here, and then find a mate. Uh, I think uh... I think this mates. If the horse takes, uh, I have silver drop here, mate. So the king has to go sideways. Um, and after it's sideways king move, um, pretty sure I have mate here. <sighs> um... This is sad. And by this, I mean my inability to checkmate the stand king. Oh. That is cool. That's a really novel defense. Um... Okay, so I can surround it again, maybe? Uh, 
How many times I'm going to attempt to checkmate you, I wonder? Okay, so this king is finally surrounded by my rook and gold. Finally done it. Yes, thanks for the game. Cool. Uh, that was tricky. So, um, I don't know... Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. Uh, wait, can I scroll? Uh, yeah, so we wish them farewell. Let's update this and perhaps try another quick game. Um, so let's look for another quick 30 second Bioyomi uh, free game and see who we get paired with. I'll slowly get the hang of this. Again, apologies for the scroll bar display. I don't really know how to correct that. Although I was looking at some CSS to correct such a thing earlier today. I'm not fully sure how to correct it. But yeah, we are waiting for a free game. For a time-limited free game. Maybe we should seek a rated game. Maybe that would be more exciting. Or increase our chances of getting a game. So, yeah, let's try a quick graded game. People tend to prefer rated games in general on other servers, or a lot of players do play rated games, so... And again, folks are probably a bit nervous about looking at my 500 um, rating. Seeing that, well, this guy doesn't have an established rating because he's not played rated games before. Um, so I see there's like weight S, weight 15, I don't know what these all mean. I think end means the game is ended. Wait, I guess means somebody's waiting for a game. Uh, I guess if we're really struggling to find an opponent, we pick that guy. Even though we outrate them, but like these ratings are all invented anyway. Oh, R I guess means that they're looking for a rated game. Countdown 30 second. Um, sure. Yeah, let's play it. Good luck. All right. This will be exciting. Our first rated game on uh, the site. Let's close this diagonal. Um, let's play Fourth Fall Rook. Why not? <laughs> Oh, this is making me a little bit nervous. I feel as if I may have fallen into a trap here. But we'll see. Okay, we want to put the pawn back here, just to be safe. Um, hmm. Okay, I think we're surviving this opening. Yeah, they could attack the pawn from the head, but then I can defend it from the head. I could attack this one from the head, and I can def oh, I can't defend this one. Um, that's interesting. Okay, we're gonna go on a bit of an adventure here. Um, and sure, there's a lot of threats here to deal with, but I think I'm equipped to deal with them. So I'm offering up my rook, and they are not taking it. Cool. Because <sighs> I should not have offered it. All right, let's just continue building some sort of a castle here. Not completely flub the game. 
Although I'm probably losing my first rated game. Also, bishops exchange. My position's super vulnerable, so let's that. And yeah, my bishop's hanging, so I need to do something about that now that I moved my silver, which I should not have moved. But we'll just tuck the king away. It'll be fine. And let's put some pressure toward their king. Okay, they defend. Um, create this escape hatch in case we need it. We probably will. Um, yeah, this is eventually going to happen, so let's do it now. Get it over with. See if they take our rook or not. I've surrounded my rooks. So there's not really any benefit to taking it. So yeah, they elect to not take it. Um, we'll take the five five square and develop our bishop in a strange way, because why not? So, I'm down a pawn, I have no pawn in hand, and this is just generally not going well. Um, let's try to put pressure toward their king, threaten to move my rook, see if they panic. They probably won't panic, because they've been playing very quickly the entire game. That's a good resourceful move on their part. I have to recapture. And this starts their attack. This is the correct way to attack. Nicely done. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do about this. I guess we'll protect our lance and try to get out of here. Okay, this allows me to get my rook out this way, just not going to save me at all. Um, so this should look familiar to the last uh, teaching ladder game I played, except in that game, um, the, my opponent had not completely destroyed my edge. In this game, my edge is destroyed and there's no saving it. Um, interesting though, they had a more powerful way to play this, so we're going to cut off their bishop and very slowly fight back here, try to crawl our way out of this hole. I mean, that's a reasonable play, but it forgets that I can bring this out. Unless it was their plan to, like, do bishop takes lance and open all these complications, but... Um, interesting. Okay, let's launch an attack. There goes my attack. I don't know how far it's going to get, but we've started an attack here. Okay, we're in check. Let's get out of check. So I've got four pawns and a very good square to use them on. Over and over. Um, if I had more pieces in hand, they'd all still go around this part of the board. Okay, that's a good defensive play. 
Um, let's ask this lance if it moves forward. If it would just please get out of my way. Okay, it does get out of my way. It's threatening my gold. Let's try to win the lance. Okay, we do win a lance. Okay, we do win a rook. And yeah, they have active pieces too. But I'm not so terrified at this point. Um... Let's aim at the king. Because that's the object, is to win the king. Okay, they attack my bishop again. Um... Guess I'll attack this bishop here and unfortunately allow an exchange. So bishops are replaceable and I've managed to not lose my rook yet anyway. So my opponent played some fierce opening moves, but needs to play a strong attack to back it up. Mm -hmm. um, I guess we'll take one of these. Okay, we are in check again. I don't want to lose my rook, so we're going to go... Um, hmm. We're going to go somewhere. Let's go here. This looks risky because they can drop a gold so close. Um, my rook is floating, which is risky, but my king is worth more than the rook, so. Uh, that's weird. Oh, that wins my gold. Okay, that's fine. Let's just keep running. So they do win a gold general. Uh, we're just out for some exercise here. All right, they attack my rook and silver. I guess we should do something about that. Hmm. It's not so easy to do something about that. Ah, this is so dumb. Because they have a gold drop to fork these two. Um, my plan is to attack this horse after the gold drop, which is super risky and would inadvisable. Um, also, maybe I should just run away with the rook. Oh, well, that's weird. Makes a lot of sense, but I didn't expect it. Um, Damn. OK, 
Okay, we're going to attack everything at once with one piece. So that's an efficient move, but my king might have to retreat after this. My plan of escaping the king into the corner is subject to negotiation. Yeah, as in it's just not happening here. Okay. Run away. This damn horse. It's going to cause so many headaches because I don't have the right pieces to attack with at the moment. Um. Thankfully, I seem to be surviving. They've been trying to, like, subtly fork my king and rook with a horse, and I keep saying no. Okay, they attack my rook anyway. Um, I don't feel like offering them a rook. So I'm going to retreat here. Somewhat limits the range of their horse. I'm in check. I'm going to get out of check. And very subtly start building a castle back around my king. So that maybe if a rook exchange for this horse actually happens, I'm not immediately mated. File another piece on the square in front of the king. Because they can't bring another defender to defend it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they make the obvious attack. I make an obvious defense to the obvious attack. And if they had a lance, I would be crushed here, but they don't have a lance. And they have a pawn way back here. So this slows down their attack. Okay. They attack my horse again. A rook again. Um, I think at this point I'm not so worried about this attack anymore. Um, so we're going to bring the rook into open waters and try to checkmate the king using the two lances and the rook and the silver. OK. 
Okay, they attack my silver here. So we'll defend the silver. Of course, now I see they can pawn drop in front of my rook. No, they can't because that'd be Nifu. Um, so, yeah, my attack intensifies once more. I just bear everything on this one point here. We should have a checkmate. Um, yep. So, my attack breaks through. Um, it's not even close. And the carnage begins. Let's get my pawn out of the way. Um... Promote my rook. Thanks for the game. So, it took me an eternity to get that lined up. I probably should have done the pawn drop a long time ago, but it is effective here. Alright, we leave this game. Let's uh, play another game. So this is the state of the room. We won our first rated game after a bit of a struggle. So let's try to play another quick rated game. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. That was a really powerful opening they played against me. Um, there were a lot of fireworks there, and eventually their attack fizzled out. Um, 338, sure. Good luck. All right, I offer a bishop exchange against my better judgment. Here we go. Bishop exchange is in full force. Um, the problem is I don't know how to play this. So we'll try to defend this way. Um, play the rook to the fourth file so there's not this fork. Okay, we're playing a really non-standard move order. Um, okay, I can just promote my bishop now. Unless I've missed something. No, if I drop it here, the king surrounds. So I don't have a free bishop promotion. Oh, yeah, they could defend this way, too. Um, so, let's not get checkmated on the edge. Let's put some pressure on this other edge while I'm trying to figure out a plan. Um, sure, let's tuck the king into Mino Castle. You know, being the silver gold gold shape. All right, now I could attack this point if I cared. Um, and that's going to be there for a while. It's a nice target. Um, I think this is a safe advance. I'm not so familiar with bishop exchange opening theory. Um, I know there's theory, I just don't know the theory. I think this is safe. I've not given away too much here. Um, let's play our rook to the open line. Okay. I 
I guess let's bring out my rook. Like this. And drop the rook back, and I have a pawn in hand. Okay. guess we'll push here. This seems risky because they could promote their bishop. But I can build an attack, so at the end we'll see who's laughing. Um, it might be them. Oh, I dropped a gold general. Oops. Okay, well, that slightly changes matters. Um, hmm. Oh, if I click update, it shows everybody waiting, I assume, for the time control. It's good to know. Okay. I mean, I'm going to get forked over and over again here. There's going to be no end to the forks that keep happening to my king in this situation. Or to rather to all my pieces. Um, there's no way for me to stop all of their attacks, so I'm not even going to try. Right, so my silver's loose. Yeah, this sucks a lot. Um... So, I'm just going to end up losing all of my pieces here, accidentally. I like a gold drop to... yeah, this sucks. Um... Okay, well my pieces will defend each other at least for one turn. But we're going to lose this game unless something crazy happens. Because I am down a gold and a knight, and I don't know how to play bishop exchange. Um, and they have a nice attack going. I guess a one-for-one one exchange is not the worst thing I could hope for. Um... I don't have any reasonable way to decline this offer. So we'll try to attack this way. Um. Guess we'll move this out of the corner. Just for lack of any kind of creative move I can do here. I don't have the pieces to strike up a new attack, so what pieces I have remaining are gonna have to do somehow. But also, like, this is a pretty hopeless endeavor. So we're going to try to use our silver and bishop and gold to try attack the square next to the king. And hope this attack hits first. Right, they do the obvious predictable fork. And against that, I'm going to have to do something. 
So I walk into this, which allows them to exchange a bishop for a bishop. I don't know why they do that, but they could if they wanted to. Yeah, instead, they do that. Um, sure, let's promote. Why not? If they take this gold, I can drop a gold next to their rook. And maybe survive, but probably not. Um, so I gained a pawn. So using the pawn I've gained, I can launch this attack here. So there we go. That's an attack. Is it a good attack? Probably not. It's an attack. It's something. Um... So we've got to resort to something like this at this point. Okay, they correctly run away. Um, hmm. Guess we'll pursue, although this attack is extremely slow. Yeah, they spot the correct move. All right, where's the resign button? Is there a resign button? I don't see it. Um... See Kifu, Chat X, Opponent, Draw, Nugyoku, Rev. I don't see a resign button. Suspend, buy, close. None of those are resign. Uh, so we'll play on until I can find the damn button. Um. Yeah, I don't know how to play this. So we'll uh, just blue giant. Oh, this one. Okay. Yes, you're right. That's the button. Thank you. Yeah, it looks different from all the other buttons. Thank you. Um I was panicking trying to find it. It was right there the whole time. Uh, yeah, cool game. So, we got one win, one loss. These guys are tough cookies, you know? Um, let's play another game. So maybe I shouldn't offer bishop exchange against these guys. At least, I don't know. It wouldn't hurt to offer it. It's not like this is some tournament game or something. It's just my rating on the line. So I've dropped down to 12q. Uh, that stung just a bit. Uh, probably. Oh, and I could click update to refresh. And this shows other opponents who are looking for similar time controls. Um, I see there's weight 15, weight S, and weight. 
And we could also see there's my seek right in the middle, my locality being USA Chicago. So folks know what that is. Um, so I see I've done a wait S. They've also done a wait S. Maybe I should challenge them. Uh, sure. Why not? Uh, 1 minute 13, 30, sure. Uh, yeah, that sounds fine to me. I don't know if they're up for this. If not, that's okay. Good luck. All right. Let's prevent this rook from breaking in. Oh! Oh me, oh my! We have got some opening theory in front of us today. Uh, crap, how do you, do you deal with this thing? I just take here, right? And then I fork the pieces? Okay. Well, we're a few moves into the game and haven't lost yet. Um... This doesn't look comfortable. Oh, crap. Yeah, there's that thing. So, against this thing, I've had a similar position once and been told I can make a shape like this. It's not a great shape, um, but it's a shape. It's playable, but I might die a thousand deaths here, so... Yeah, we're going to learn from this, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Uh, they could have put a lance there. So that could have hurt a lot more than it did hurt. Um, so we can also try to surround this horse. Oh, <laughs> I guess, yeah, I can't play the moves that the pros might sometimes play. So when they try to surround the horse, they actually surround it. When I try to surround it, I fail. Um, that's funny to note. Um, but yeah, maybe I could use the lance if we choose to exchange pieces, sure. Uh, yeah, they correctly defend. <sighs> That's frustrating. <laughs> they put some really good moves. Um, I have no idea what to do. This sucks. So they're going to trade off their horse for my rook, but they're not going to win my knight. Uh, wait, what's this about? Oh, now that they have a rook, everything changes. I see. That's the problem with giving them a rook. Wait, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right, sir. I think you misread something. Thanks for the game. Okay, well, that was an experience. <laughs> yeah, that, um, that was an experience. I don't know if we could replicate that. Or rather, things aren't going to get any more exciting than that. So it's all downhill from here. Hope you enjoyed this little Shogi Wars experience. Or Shogi Club 24 experience. Maybe we'll try some more of this Club 24 in the future.